in nutrition for the Institute of Medicine. They have two daughters, and this is their second return to Botswana. May we welcome them. We have Jack Tanner. Jack Tanner first came here with his late wife, Sandy, from the United States in late 1970. Jack took over the printing equipment used for Miri and turned the enterprise into a successful printer's brigade, the forerunner of today's Serwe Printers Cooperative. His late wife, Sandy, taught maths. When Jack revived Miri, the first editor was David Rendo, one of the alumni and a former diplomat for, of Botswana. The next editor was none other than our present guest speaker and Minister of Education, the Honorable Dr. Pilonomi Benson. We have Charles Gott, who first came to Swaneng from the United Kingdom in 1968 and worked alongside the Serwe Farmers Brigade. He then moved to Tonota, where he started the Farmers Brigade at Shashe River School. Afterwards, he returned to the UK, where he married and has been active in community volunteer work for many years. He returned to Botswana for the 40th anniversary of Shashe River School and now returns with his wife, Joan, for the Swaning Jubilee. Give them a huge applause, please. We have Eric Kuhl, who arrived in Surwe in 1971 from Holland. Although recruited to teach maths at Swaning, he quickly became the site engineer at the new Madiba School in Mahalape, where he did an outstanding job until his departure in 1974. He met his wife, Anita, as he journeyed overland through Africa back to Europe. He, he has remained in touch with his Madiba colleagues over the years, and he and Anita have come together to participate at this Jubilee celebration today. <laughs> Last but not least, we have a Mutsuana girl, Merapelo Silukhelwa who studied here at Swaneng Hill. She came here from the United Kingdom where she's, uh, she studied, now working as a practicing pharmacist. Give her your applause, please. Our distinguished guest, I, I thought these special guests are worthy of mention at an occasion such as this one. Like I have said, the Swanem project, which solely depended on volunteerism, both by staff and students, would not have been possible without the assistance of the people that I have mentioned earlier on. So thank you so much for your kind attention.
With your permission, Honorable Minister of Education. Education has been free for 40 years now. There is no reason why we should translate. I think all of us should have seen the inside of a classroom. Mele hal. Agrek kimwali bi kibualan. E hono hotlar ha baba buang baba kise mela yata ya buto kwa yesi moto na luami. Jaka minister ali baba mwe. Bata tulukule la hore baba baba kani nsi kweli. Lebo ne bata baba ukio mala yet. Eh, Mr. Chaba, this is you. Yeah. Come and continue the program. Next in the program should be the welcome remarks by the host. And our host is Mrs. Khabalapi Mamuko Outweed. We are talking about a versatile woman, a woman of stature whose vision shall still be witnessed at greater heights in the years of her stay here as this, the steward of the school. Honorable Minister of Education and Skills Development, Mayor Pelonomi Vincent Mitoy. Honorable Minister of Lands, Re Lebonayamang Mokalake. Hosi Re Mkutwani Sokoma. Council Chairman Re Lesoko Raditanka. Director of the Central Region. Me Mulibi Morolo. Re Patrick van Riesbeck, the founder of Swaning and Family. Swaning School Head, Swaning Primary School Head, Re Martin. The Swaning Alumni, former school heads and teachers of Swaning. Parents teachers and students of Swaning, Councillor Re Mpo Kuremi, ladies and gentlemen, um, before I welcome you all, let me start by appreciating the presence of our visitors from faraway places the volunteers who are with us this morning. Let me also take this opportunity to make mention of the fact that while we are gathered here this morning, there is yet another event which is taking place in the UK to celebrate this moment with us. Ladies and gentlemen, and my dear students, I am so humbled by this gathering this morning. Bye. Manke loa mukheleng kali na lele holo la hakosi Jesu. Um. Let me take you through. Um. Just a little information to share with you. We are in Swaning with a population of 842 from five students, 866 from four students. That gives us a total of 1,708. And a total of 125 teachers and 51 nine teaching members. We are today, ladies and gentlemen, standing on the solid foundation 
to witness the historic footprints embedded on the sands of time by heroes and heroines, departed and surviving. May I, at this point in time, ask all of us to observe a moment of silence in realizing those who departed. For a second, ladies and gentlemen. 30 seconds. Amen. Today marks a moment in the life of a nation when the achievement of educational icons such as Re Patrick van Rensbeck celebrated. Those are the citizens of the world who found no value in success unless it be for the benefit of humanity. We roll back the hands of time 50 years when the seeds of vision for an educated and informed nation were sown in the hearts and hands of wise men. <laughs> we have seen and done all that there is, treasured what we have inherited from generations past. A duty remains for all of us, the school, the community, the students, to further polish what has been started for us, that which we have received. For we have received from them. It is our duty to polish that which we have received. Our Swanane shall forever be a vehicle of teaching and learning, which is doubtlessly a better safeguard of liberty than a standing army. We, as a, as, a, as a school, the students, the teachers, the parents, are a solid team. You cannot achieve good results when you are not working as a team. We would very much love to indicate here or make mention of the fact that dropouts and truancy and pregnancy rates are at a very low rate, if not the things of the past. As I said earlier, achievement emanates from the warm relationships from the parents, teachers, and teachers, and leaving no gaps for students to lose direction. We don't allow them to lose direction, ladies and gentlemen. We are on them with the parents and the community at large. And I would like here to make a special mention to everybody here that we have a special uh, relationship at every occasion that I'm invited to, I always want to make this mention so that everybody knows why in discipline it is the thing of the past in Swane. It is because of our relationship. He's doing a wonderful job. Uh, the team spirit that is there in the school, Gary, Beto, you, we are here saying we are celebrating the 50 years that Swaneng has lived. And at the same time, I would love to say these are the buildings that some of you left 
and they are here. We are doing all our best to look after the buildings. <laughs> this day is meant for all of us to celebrate the life of a middle-aged man called Swane. Let's come together and make our individual stay at Swaneng today so pleasant and attend the occasion until the last hour, that is, until tomorrow. There is a saying, ladies and gentlemen, that the price tag that one gets from the world is similar to the one the individual places on himself. That is John C. Maxwell. I have recognized the presence of our visitors and please welcome them, show them around, and make their stay in Serua a, a memorable one for them to take with them at home. Um, with those few remarks, you are all welcome. You are And as we settle down, let us have a renowned poet, mellowing that which we received.
Mutangara kebata ho mela kodi bana kebata ho thotho ma se bata thwa thwa ke bata ho mela kodi ha ko tere bete ma motho e